On my left, we have the pinnacle of modular tool storage. It is the three-piece packout system. And on my right, we have the lowly Husky rolling tote. Quite frankly, I still have to use both of these together on a daily basis. This box stores large, bulky items much better than this box here. And it seems like everybody's unaware that there is a new packout box that none of us are buying. You aren't buying it. And I can't figure out why. Here it is. You got a three piece pack out right now. It's on sale for $229. It's usually about $279, but because of the price increases that have been happening globally, it's been over $300 recently. People feel like they're getting a deal at $229. There's three boxes here. Now, this is going to play into the whole reason why you're not buying this new solution for pack out. I think a lot of people should be taking a look at. Okay, but let's get back to pack out. It's three boxes and it's good at organizing smaller power tools, in my opinion. You can look in here. We have my compact drill driver, some bits, Kaizen foam in there. If we open up this box, you'll see I have my finished tools. I have a router in here. I have a couple of my nailers. And we get down to the bottom box the basis of the packout system for all these years. The basis, right? Here's the thing, we open this box and I've always kept my biggest, bulkiest items that I don't use as frequently down in this box, okay? And the reality is, what's in here? Got my whole hog, I got a Super Sawzall. Be honest with you, I've been using the more compact fuel recently. And then I have my left line of sight. They fit in there completely ridiculous. They, they literally take up a ton of space in this box. Okay, it's relegated to these three tools because they're, they're the tools that I use least frequently. And I have to situate them down in here. Like it's, it's like Tetris. But this has been the biggest box. So that's what I put them down there. The other thing is, is that because I use them least frequently, because I have other tool solutions that I use more frequently, everybody knows the only way to get in that box is to pull everything else off first. So I really don't, it don't really, I don't really mind them being down in there. I would never situate what's in this box. Big bulky items, spackle knives. We have mixers in here. I have different types of straight flex, joint compound. I would never situate this, what's in this box in here. It would take up so much room, it would make no sense. It would make no sense. It would not make any sense. And here's the deal. Packout has a new solution. It's similar to this box, but it functions more like this box. And here it is. It's Milwaukee's version of this rolling tote. Okay, that I've had to use in conjunction with, with this stack of boxes. There was no way for me to take the tools that I needed, follow along here, follow along here. I use these tools more frequently. I also have my other pack out box in the truck. It has my M12 tools as the tools that I use most frequently. I need this stuff to make repairs, but there's no way for me to get this tote and this box into the job without having to strap this down onto this box with a bungee cord or carry this like this and then grab this and then have to stop and open a door and hold the door with my foot and roll it in and then kick the door open and hopefully it'll stay open up long enough for me to roll through the hole in the, in the wall, which is the door, Okay, and not bang the glass. You're following along here? Now, I don't know if I've put off getting this box because one is less than three. This is $229. This is $229. That is three boxes. This is one box. 
Is it a mental thing? Leave it down in the comment section below. Did I feel like I wasn't getting the value? Even though I can fit all that awkward stuff in this box that I can't fit in this box. Here's the other thing. I could fit a two foot level in this box. I will tell you one thing I will not put in this box. There's no way to get this framing square in here. If you come, if you look in here, even at the bottom of the box, it would be bent. Now, if there was like maybe some drop cloths in here, I would maybe lay that on top. I feel like you're, you're running the risk of, of bending this. I would find a more secure spot. Level, a little bit sturdier in my opinion. So we can fit these longer items in here. Plus there's still some top storage. Let's outfit this box together. Let's go from this to this and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how it will work together much better. And this should be fairly rapid. I'm gonna take the top tray. We got some sand net in here. We got a whole bunch of different straight flex. This stuff is awesome. We can put that in here. Regular tape, a whole bunch of sandpaper. Here. Some sanding blocks. There's plenty of life left in this. We're gonna put this in there. These knockdown knives do really good for uh, applications of, of decals and uh, graphics. That's what we use these for. Scraper, Bondo applicator. Trash bag, old sanding block, corner cap paper. This is a pretty, pretty deep tray. I'm gonna see. Seems like we're getting a little interference. Not enough to cause any problems. I won't be able to put these in here, so they'll have to go underneath, but there's plenty of storage down there. Not a big deal. Oh. Nice. Everything else in here is pretty much trash. Okay. Is this 20? 20. I'm gonna tell everybody this much right now. 20, 45, 90 that you get at the big box is not, mark it down, is not as good as you get at the contractor supply. Here, here's, here's, a, here's a little problem. So on this side, we're not able to, I don't know if you're seeing this, we're not able to stand this box up underneath our organizer. Pans and knives. Ugh. Yeah. So we can put these here. We're gonna have to sit this down back here for now. We're gonna need to put all of our taller objects on this side. More paper tape. It's the best tape, don't use mesh. We have more sandpaper. Oh, that fit like almost perfect. Little knockdown knife. We have a kit for quick patches. The reason why they're in this plastic tote is because if they got squashed being in this box, they would be useless. You know, we got the mud and more mix ball. Look at that. Leave it down below if you use the mud and more mix ball. Another, another mixing paddle. If you want to learn how to use this, and how this could speed up your job, go to this video here. Leave it down below if you know what this is. Some additional plastic, and here's how all the quick patches happen so quickly. We just need some extension cords now. A little bit more sandpaper. Sanding handle. Uh, we'll find a little spot for this right here. Right there. And finally, our 20 minute. Get it in here. Now, as you can see, everything that was in this tote is now in this tote. There's not much space left over, but 
it's much more functional for me, especially if I'm going to be by myself, because now I can close the lid. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna put this back here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so perfect. Now, if I needed to, I could, I would feel more comfortable leaving this here. If I was going to be the only person opening and closing this box, I would feel comfortable that it wouldn't get damaged or bent. So I could put, I could put this in here. If you're gonna have guys that are gonna be rummaging through your stuff, that square is, is gonna get bent. Close our box. And now I gotta go in to make quick repairs, right? I can throw on the drill drivers that I need. Or the tools that I need, whatever it is. I could throw on the, the organizers that I need with the screws, nuts, bolts, screws. Maybe there's some miscellaneous tools. Throw them in the crate. Now, like a one-man gang, I could pull out my handle and then I could roll onto my job. I still have to kick the door open though, but I have a free hand to maybe hold it as I roll in. I don't know if it's because a single box costs as much as three boxes, even though this box is much bigger and is better for oddly shaped materials or tools, hand tools, I, I don't know what the reason is. I will say this box definitely has one major flaw that I think is bizarre why they even, like I don't get it. But you have the ability to stack two stacks of pack out on this box. The problem is, is that why did they make it so that they both face the same direction? Why doesn't this face the opposite direction? Like you have to reach in here to get this off. Like it, it's just odd. Why doesn't it go on this direction? Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here in the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later. <laughs>